Let's take this for a spin here. You're going. Um, you miss massive different aside from the end. Wait, what? It feels vastly different aside from the end. Ah, okay. All right. So you experimented with some things. Your internet activity over the last 10 years is being scrutinized and cataloged in minute, vivid detail. I like it. Your internet activity over the last 10 years. Your internet activity over the last 10 years is being scrutinized and cataloged in minute, vivid detail. It's cool. Um, I got like two comments. Well, three. A big one. You know, you have, you have to start getting out of, out of that mixed stepped mode, linear mode type of thing. Was there some really poppy bits that are tricky because there's some moments where I don't know if that's your acting choice or if that's part of how you block it out. For instance, on this, you can see how his eyes are completely locked with the head. So it looks more like he's totally on drugs versus would it be better if you do this and you keep looking at him and then at the end you blink over for this, for this dart, you know, where he keeps his focus on the guy and only at the very end looks away. So there's a lot of acting stuff that's kind of nebulous. Um, that would be my big overriding one. The second one is that you start with nothing and you get into this Your which internet. feels very much like and action your internet so what i would do is see how it takes a step here go back boom go back which means that at this point this leg uh stays here right and you're doing it's too much here but you know he's, he's taking that leg here he's taking the step back that makes sense right if you look at this it's right leg forward so i'm going right leg back left leg back so by now it'll be more like this right this leg here is back this leg here is back here uh he will be further back so roughly block that out and then you can cut on action basically i would cut around here which is there is no frame counter so i'm starting at zero so to me it's if i start this your internet your internet active it's like you don't even need to have all that before the audio Maybe just a little bit, but it's the main thing is start on action, meaning he's already in in movement here for that step. So you just backtrack and take one more step backwards. Cut in a bit later. That's my big note here. Your internet activity over the last ten years is being. And then again, watch out! Like you're hitting a very hard edge here, especially if you track the nose. Pow! Suddenly to the left. So just that stop and lean down is a bit harsh. Over the last ten years, it's just very very rough, and it doesn't. It doesn't match the audio at all. Like, there's no strain or anything in the audio. The audio doesn't change. So even if this is rough, I would you know make sure that the timing still reflects all those ideas. So I'm not sure if this is suddenly your acting choice where you want him to be drastically faster, or if that's just really rough. Animation. Over the last ten years, is being scrutinized, and cataloged. Same thing here. I'm going back to the rough thing where you go back and you blink, but you don't really finish so is this is supposed to be really the long half blink not sure but then here you stay with his eyes locked to the head which is weird and then you dart but you don't really look at him and only now you look at him but even now it looks like his chin scrutinized and cataloged in minute and then it feels like at the end he goes here into his eyes i'm slightly confused i'm not sure if that's your acting choice that's just rough on him, you know? Minute, vivid detail. But the rest is cool. Watch this again. Your internet activity over the last 10 years is being scrutinized and cataloged in minute, vivid detail. Yeah, it's neat. It has a really, really good flow where he just comes down. And the thing is, it just comes down to really smoothing out you know your transitions in the body and what the head is doing and really playing with what are your eyes doing are you staring him down to quite little darts you know on this turn like i said you want to if you hold on him it's so much more threatening and then at the end you look away so there's a lot of that stuff that's going to play in the head then here you got your first little accent here and then you got the big thing through here you know
So I think it has a really good flow. Good mechanics, you go from a stand down to this. I wonder if after this one, and he goes here. Mute. Vivid detail. Just to add a bit more punch, he goes into this, right? And then when you go up into, see how your, your body goes up a bit? And your elbows go up a bit? Push that where your root actually goes up to here, actually here. So that much higher, but also to the front. So I imagine he's almost getting up on his toes, almost or something, leaning on this pivoting forward so he's really you know more like that exaggerating but you know going up in vivid detail where he's just lifting himself up a bit more so visually you have something where this shape like that's your current exit that's very close to what you had before meaning like that you know a couple of seconds like a second before versus if he goes up, like I said, up and forward, you end up in a position where he is maybe more here. And then leaning forward, whatever his arms are doing, right? But you have, you have such a difference in where he ends up going. Because right now, if you don't do that, you end up, once he's done walking and leans on the chair, you end up being boxed in literally into that, that area. You know, there's not much more that he does. And I think for contrast, for visual contrast, to change it up a bit, I think that ending could be good for him. Go up a bit more and lean forward to get outside that box, to, you know, get into a new visual thing. Not that he has to stand up and be totally different, which you could do. He could get up. I don't think you have enough time. It might be too much, but you could go crazy. And after this, he stands up <clears throat> and ends up being, you know, here, arms you know, still on that chair, but because he's so high and standing or whatever, like he, he saw his head low so that he can really look at the guy. I don't know, this could be weird, could be way too much movement. I'll probably not do that. Um, but yeah, that's about it. It's very cool, cool update. I would definitely try for the next one to be much smoother in your body and eyes and head. Just really do a spline pass because it's going to be a lot about small, you know, like, that is that a deliberate look away without a blink but then you come back I don't know it's just too much poppiness and I'm, I'm sure if something like this is an intentional move or not in terms of eyes and everything so for your next pass I would really smooth out and be very very clear in terms of your acting and storytelling all right thanks all right there's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.